I think that the sleeping is really useless because uh, really. Welcome back, everybody, to the sixth episode of the Lord of Bar podcast, Road to Success. Today, we are always me, Kali and Paolo. And today's topic is about sacrifice your time. Sacrifice your time. Exactly. Are you actually sacrificing your time? And is it actually ne- necessary? And we're going to talk more specifically about... About, so like, uh, do you really need to sleep eight hours per day? Or maybe four? Or, maybe or two? sleeping is just useless. <laughs> exactly. Maybe you can't sleep... You know, you yeah. shouldn't sleep anymore. That's like a, like we said before in the last uh, episode of the podcast, uh, if you don't sleep, you live twice. Exactly. So you have eight hours per day more yeah. to live. Exactly. So I don't have 21 years, I have uh, 42. I think that's logic. Exactly. Yeah. For this reason, I have white hair. You know? yeah. That's the reason. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to say something specific about this, that in this podcast, we always share our personal idea. And sometimes this idea, this idea are going to be different between each other. For example, about sleep. And now we're going to analyze that more in detail. Probably most of you sleep eight hours, nine, nine, nine. German, I'm sorry, um, nine hours a day. Okay. What's your opinion about that, Milan? Yeah, I think that uh, we are uh, like our habits or like people tell us to sleep uh, eight hours or we are used to sleep a lot of time. But uh, at the moment that we actually start to think about how much we actually need to sleep, uh, you are starting with like uh, making tests. At least this was for me. Mm-hmm. I start sleeping less, I start sleeping more. And I think uh, it all depends on uh, how was your day, how have to be your next day. So let's think about that your next day you don't have to do like anything really important that sacrifice your, your energy. You may sleep uh, even a bit less, I think, even like four hours. Instead, if you need really a lot of energy for the next day, you may sleep eight hours. But at the same time, since I did this test, I can tell you that if you sleep more or if you sleep less, it depends on you. For me, six hours, eight hours, seven, maybe also four, they all work really good for me, especially six hours. I feel really energized, but after six, seven, eight, ten hours, I, I'm not that energized. I like, I feel tired all day. And uh, you, Paolo, say, that you are like a student that you may be... Yeah, I, I think that the sleeping is really useless because uh, really all the time that you can save, it's, uh, it's something amazing. But at the same time, if you're uh, studying, obviously, Uh, sleeping like one, two hours more instead of, for example, five hours could be also useful because maybe your brain is going to be more efficient. In fact, probably uh, what you can study when you sleep like seven hours in uh, two hours, it's like double what you really can study when you sleep less. So um, it all depends. It all depends because... uh, uh really time is uh it's a bit complicated because yeah I, i think everybody should test on themselves yeah because uh when you when you sleep a lot you're wasting a lot of time yeah. but at the same time you know the problem is that you know sleeping a lot make you think that uh, okay i'm gonna recover all my energies but in reality sleeping a lot it's not gonna give you more energy because uh, You cannot put one liter and a half of water in one liter in a place where you can contain one liter of water, you know? If you need seven hours sleep and you sleep 12 hours, 13 hours, makes no difference. But what I think actually influences a lot, also if it doesn't make, it makes no sense, because if you think rationally with your brain, you will think that uh, more sport you do, more exercise you do, more energies you will use and more you need to sleep. But in reality, in my opinion, in my personal case, my mood influences way too much my sleep. When I'm happy and I'm motivated, I can sleep four hours and uh, I just can do maybe a power nap in the, during the day and I feel uh, super, super strong. But at the same time, Sometimes I'm maybe a little bit more sad, I'm not really motivated. In these days, I can also sleep sometimes eight, nine, nine hours, you know? And this is a, really a problem because uh, I'm the first one criticizing all the people that sleep too much, you know? Because uh, time, it's the only value that no one is gonna give us back. Because money, you can try, you can waste, blah, blah, blah. We're gonna talk about this in another podcast, maybe. But Time, it's really too important. And when you see people doing just nothing the whole day, I always say, how can they do that? 
how can they feel okay with themselves when they actually waste that much time? What do you think, Paul, about the people that sleep to 10 hours a day? Yeah, that is really useless because uh, just, you're just wasting time. You also don't need to sleep that much because like sleeping more than eight hours, you just uh, you won't feel any better. Uh, you, yeah. Instead, you probably will feel worse. Yeah, it's like recovering uh, your, your sleep. Like if one day you sleep two hours and maybe the next day you think that you have to sleep like uh, eight hours or maybe ten hours to recover the sleep that you didn't do, that's not working. You, I think you have to, to do a plan. Let's say you have to have a schedule and every time, every day, every night sleep the same time. So maybe you can follow a yeah. lead and be always the same. Because if one time I sleep six hours and then the other day I sleep ten, I would be messed up, like also my brain would be messed up. Those days where I sleep like uh, uh, six hours per night uh, for a week or maybe for a month, I am really productive and I feel more energized. I can do a lot of stuff. But uh, I found out that the best way for me at least is that uh, when I sleep uh, like for one, only one day, four hours, the next day I feel okay. Mm -hmm. But uh, if I sleep uh, like two mo two days in, in a row, four hours, I feel really bad. Yeah. And uh, maybe it could be the perfect thing to alternate one day when you sleep uh, seven hours and one day when you sleep four hours. Why don't you sleep always six hours in that case? Because uh, if I sleep six hours, I feel good, but not that good. Mm. Okay. I don't feel perfect, I don't feel super sharp. You know, something that I don't uh, really accept about this kind of speech, it's just that, uh, in my opinion, so there are people that say 30 days for having a habit, 90 days, whatever it is, okay? I think also this is relative to the person. Because some people can take an habit after 5 days, some people after 50, okay, the brain is studied from science, whatever. But in my opinion, also about sleep, you shouldn't just try one day. Because of course, if you sleep every day 10 hours and then you're going to sleep 4 hours, of course you're going to feel destroyed because your body have another habit. But as Miran said, I think that we should work a little bit like machine. If you really force yourself to sleep every day, 4 hours and a half, I think after one month, maximum two, if you survive, of course, <laughs> maybe you will die in, uh, in Milan. But if you survive, after a while, your body is going to say, okay, yeah, I need four hours and a half to recover my energy. You need also to count the fact that if you sleep only four hours, you have four hours more to do stuff, yeah, exactly. so you are more tired yeah. also from that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's also count. But you should, you should also think, you have to think, that if you focus, that if you sleep two hours less, you have two hours more to do some stuff. But you and have as, to use as them. Paolo, as Paolo say, if you use them, maybe you will be more tired. So you have to think like, okay, let's do something that not really make me feel so tired. So instead of uh, going to run for two hours straight, maybe you can use... Uh, read, uh, maybe study. Maybe read, maybe study, maybe focusing on some activity like maybe stretching, I don't know. Meditation. Something that is not really so much stressful for your body or your mind. You know what I also hate about people? That everyone think that is special, you know? Everyone say, oh, okay, no, I'm special, for me work differently. But it's not like this. If a lot of people of success and also bodybuilder slept four hours a day for an entire life, they are still alive, they are rich, whatever. Why should it be different for you? Why can't you that? Can't you do that? Uh, did they really slept? Four hours a day. Yeah, I think so. A lot of them, yes. For example, Nikola Tesla was completely crazy. He was talking with pigeon. So yeah, I believe that uh, he got yeah, his own ear. So that could be. And uh, also power nap, it's really an underestimate team, I think. For example, he talk about uh, six hours sleep, two less, blah, 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 but he never do power nap, you know? And I think power nap, if you take the habit, are gonna be really useful. But in uh, the perfect way, you should be able to do them always at the same time. So for example, every day at 4 p.m. you do your power nap. Yeah. And this is a little bit addicted. And this is also difficult when you work um, in a you know, work where they change your shift, that could be different. Yeah, let's say in a perfect uh, world exactly. where you can sleep, every, do your power you nap want. every day at the same time and for the same amount of time, mm -hmm. it's fine. But like for me, power nap, I'm not working. Because if I do a power nap, it's for like it's two hours. hours. Yeah, exactly. It's not yeah, a this, power nap anymore. Yeah. It's But, like, this is why sleep. <laughs> But that's why it doesn't work. It's for me, funny. it works. It's funny because uh, uh, we're having a conclusion where, at least for me and Miranda, 
at the end of the day, if you just sleep to six to seven hours per day, maybe it could be the best thing. Yeah, <laughs> it's like uh... yeah, but also the the thing about alternating. I actually yeah, it's okay. I did it the same thing for for some time. Like the, I had to sleep like four hours, and the next day I was like super good. But next the next day I had to sleep like at least six, mm-hmm. but like not like I was planning to do it, but I just did it. Mm-hmm. But I think uh, not sleeping too much is the the best idea. But before you sacrifice your sleep, remember if you waste 12 hours a day doing nothing for yourself, you can also sleep 10 hours. Makes no difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's really yeah, that's, uh, the point. Yeah, yeah. Uh, at time. least uh, at least you rest a bit, and maybe you you will exactly. do something. So you have day. more ta- You have less time to do nothing. You're gonna feel less guilty. Yeah, know? because you cannot say I wasted 14 hours. I wasted just 12 because I was living the rest of the time. So guys, for this episode, it's everything from me, Paolo, and Kali. Good night, or maybe enjoy your day because you're gonna see this around 2 p.m. It tomorrow. Where you are watching. Yes. Hopefully from USA. So, see you.